Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new, my name is Kylie. I currently work as a drug addiction and mental health nurse. Today's video is really special. I have a special guest. His name is Javon. He is the CEO of JB Inc. and he's a therapist. Today's topic is about stress and anxiety. First, what is stress? Stress is our body's response to pressure from a situation or life event. What is anxiety? This is an intense, excessive, and persistent worrying and fear. One may experience sweating, rapid breathing, fast heart rate, and tiredness. Experiencing occasional stress is a normal part of life. But whenever anxiety and stress starts to interfere with daily activities, it can be difficult to control. Sometimes anxiety results from a medical condition. Whatever form of anxiety you have, treatment can help. Here are daily habits and ways to reduce stress and anxiety. One, your morning routine. This helps us to set the tone for the day, allowing us control over our schedule. And by prioritizing our time, ultimately increases our productivity and reduces stress. Two, forgiving and nurturing yourself can set the stage for a better physical and mental health. Practice mindfulness, being non-judgmental, observation of your own thoughts and feelings, accept the bad with the good with compassionate attitude. Three, hobbies and friends. Hobbies provides a way to declutter your mind. Engaging in something you enjoy helps to relieve stress. <laughs> Loneliness and social isolation can affect our mental health. We all need emotional support, a sense of belonging and support to challenges. And four, acceptance. A big part of healing and recovering from pain or stress in life is accepting what's happening now and the things we cannot change. Javon, take it away. Hey guys, my name is Javon Bryan. I'm the CEO of JB Inc. Business Classified, an athlete, rehabilitation therapist, and social consultant. Today, we'll be talking about daily habits to reduce stress and anxiety. My focus would be relaxation, meditation techniques, changing environments, and the importance of changing environments. So, my first question, what does relaxation mean? Or what does it mean to relax? Relax is the exact opposite of the stress state. Instead of increased nervous and muscular system activity, for example, sweaty hands or <clears throat> dry throat, increased heart rate and negative thinking, on the contrary, your mind and body slows down. All your brain and body functions operate at a slower, more efficient rate. Your body loosens and your heart slows down. As a result, your thought flows freely and easily, leaving you feeling more control of your life. So how do we relax? Well, when you hear relax, we automatically think of laying down on the couch, watching your favorite movie, TV show, or maybe traveling to a nice warm country you've been planning for about a year just to lay on the beach. But it's not that easy and it's not that simple. It may sound simple. You only relax by relaxing. It's something you say to yourself time and time and again. Pay close attention to the movement in your body, for example. Close your eyes and try to keep your mind still. Notice how difficult this can be because our minds are so busy. Now focus on inhaling. Bring in your breath as deep as you can. Then exhale. If that doesn't work for you, try going for a walk. While walking, try listening to the sounds around you. The birds in the air. Try identify the smells from different plants. How your environment impacts your mental health. The world a person lives and function 
in can play a major role in their mental health. The type of environment is important because it has the potential to reduce stress and anxiety. According to the Journal of Environmental, Environmental Horticulture, living in or near green spaces and spending as much time as possible in nature settings and cultivating green gardens can improve mood, reduce negative effects of stress, encourage physical activity and positive behavior. Even more, the benefits of being in natural settings or green spaces include reduce symptoms of depression, for example, walking in a well-trafficked area compared to a nature area it reduces your symptoms. Secondly, stronger memory retention, so improve memory. Walking through a well-trafficked urban area compared to a natural environment gives individuals the chance to focus and concentrate. For example, colors of the, the plants and again the sounds that they hear, the smells that they can pick up. And number three, increase creativity. Nature walks and visit to the park has been found to boost creativity, mood, and a sense of vitality. Some more, if, some more ways to improve your environment, I suggest reorganizing your room, getting rid of clutter. Maybe there's too much stuff in your house, in your room, and you need to get rid of them. Add plants. Plants is not only beneficial for improving reducing stress and anxiety but it also improves the, the air quality now therapy when everyone hears therapy they think maybe speaking to a therapist or psychologist but there are many forms of therapy there isn't one form that is better than the other it is completely subjective to the individual and their needs one problem that I notice people are struggling with is concentration. Especially with this COVID virus going around, we have shifted our focus from ourselves and now in constant fear and uncertainty and being locked down inside all day and night. Three solutions that I suggest are fitness. Fitness, fitness is known to reduce stress and improve focus on concentration. Not only that, it, it will help with your overall health and well-being. Number two, board games and activities. Games and activities such as Scrabbles or word searches or puzzles or even Monopoly will help with focus, concentration, memory, memory retention and paying attention to details. Lastly, but not least, reading. It is said that reading for 20 minutes per day will help focus and concentrate. Plus other benefits that include building stronger relationships, improved language, and lowering negative stress levels. That's all for today guys. Thank you for listening. I hope you look, took some tips and from this video and you can include in your daily habits which will reduce stress and anxiety. Take care. Bye.